This week in your weekly upgrade, we head to Update City to show you how to navigate through whatever device you're on so you can stay up to date. We have Minecrafted up some great mods to stay creative in the nether or wherever you travel to with your class. And finally, presenting Google Slides Fresh New View and much more. I'm Jordan Nahr, and this is your weekly upgrade. Well, I hope you had a well-deserved break. And now that you've started your day by clearing your cache, you've deleted those big files to help clear some space on your computer, you may encounter new issues with this or that or the other. This is the worst. <laughs> well, let's show you the quick ways to make sure that you're fully updated, depending on the type of device you're using. For Windows, just go to the bottom icon on the left select the settings icon, then select update and security, and then select check for updates. For Chromebooks, just select the time at the bottom right of your screen, select the same settings icon, and then on the left, select about Chrome OS, and you'll see a button to check for updates. For an iPad, just go to settings and in general, then select software updates. And lastly, on a Mac, just select system preferences, then select software updates. In most cases, if there is an update available, you'll need to restart your computer by locating on the keyboard, the red do not press button. No, uh, it's actually simpler than that. All devices will prompt you with an on-screen button to restart. Now, bring on the learning. Yeah! Yeah! If you haven't jumped on board with getting you and your class a Minecraft for Education account to create lessons online, well, there's no time like the present. And there's no present better than Minecraft. That one's for you, Notch. And I know what you're thinking. I may not know much about Minecraft and need anything so I can keep up with my students. Or maybe you need to discuss some hot topics or troubleshooting. Well, for all OCDSB staff, just go to Google Currents, found in your waffle, and search for Minecraft in the OCDSB. Just select join, and you'll stay on top of upcoming events and posts, or maybe post your own awesome stuff to the group. You'll also have access to our very own videos and documentation, also found in the Modern Learning website. That'll show you what a book and quill can really do. Or check out the latest vid on where we explain how to use an NPC. No, not a non-president's choice item, or a new personal computer, or even a non-progressive conservationalist. I'm talking about a non-playable character. Even beyond our resources, we also can be found in office hours with our non-non-playable characters and NPCs. Just made that up. <laughs> We're always here to help our teachers and students make Minecraft for Education stay square. See what I did there? Presenting your Google Slides is a great way to share all the key info you need to with your group. But if you're tired of that bottom obtrusive bar, I know it's a big word, uh, cutting off key info you desire to share, well, it finally has transformed into this much smaller gray box that immediately disappears when you move your mouse away from it. You also have all the same options as before. Just select the three dots to make any necessary changes to your presentation, to what your heart truly desires for your viewers. It's all about the little things. But wait, there's more. A great resource we'd like to share with you is slidesmania.com. Just select from any of the different types of templates, then choose open in Google Slides, where you can preview and then lastly, select use template and let the mania ensue. Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. You know where to find us. I just wanted to also say thank you for all you viewers. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to like, subscribe, and share so we can keep upgrading our lives to better our amazing students. Have a great and awesome day.